Hello, everyone. As we have for uh, these many, many, many weeks, we try to put as much shalom as we can into our, our Shabbat as we enter the Torah portion of Nassau. Uh, it is the second Torah portion in the book of Numbers, now that we are in the fourth book of the Torah. And uh, it is uh, hopefully has been a a boost for all of us this week as we found out uh, during this week about the uh, daring rescue of four hostages out of uh, the hands of Hamas. And so I hope, like I said, it's been a particularly special uh, week for us. Now we just need uh, 120 more of those hostages home and uh, a way to, uh, to, uh, and this terror with Hamas. Nassau uh, actually uh, within it has a lot of components, uh, lots of particular uh, laws and structures like many of our Torah portions. Uh, it also has uh, Nazarite laws, which is something that we may talk about tomorrow. You know, the Nazarite laws, if, if you recall, were particular laws that had to do with uh, vows, uh, and they had to have they, they they one of the most famous Nazarites was uh, was Samson, for for instance. But the 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 another really really uh, well known part of this week's Torah portion is that in it is housed the, the priestly blessing, and if you can see behind me this uh, uh, artistic imagery of the the hand sort of up up in the air. Uh, sort of showing us uh, how the high priest would bless the Israelites with the uh, with this priestly blessing with Birkata Kohanim, and if you know the priestly blessing, then you know it is extremely powerful. It is deoraita, meaning it comes right from the Torah, from this week's Torah portion, and so you know it's of, of great import within uh, all of all that we do because it is a prayer that comes right from the Torah itself. Uh, it is, uh, May God bless you and protect you. May God's presence shine upon you, be gracious to you. May God's presence be with you all the days of your life and grant you peace. Those are the words that we find in our Torah portion this week. What's beautiful about this particular um blessing this this priestly this this priestly blessing is that uh it occurs in the most beautiful moments in our lives it's uh traditionally supposed to be said after we light shabbat candles uh for our for our children when we bless our children we uh we connect the blessings uh to uh boys and girls uh in their sort of uh individual prefixes to this and then the end part is always the priestly blessing priestly blessings is a uh, priestly blessing is what we say uh at bar and bat mitzvah we say it at baby namings uh and at brises uh we say it for sure under the chuppah uh at a wedding and so it shows that these are these very critical very beautiful moments within our lives and so on this shabbat that's coming up i hope that you will look deeply into the significance of why these uh, moments are chosen for us to use the priestly blessing. And then once we figure that out, once you maybe reflect on that, think about the sanctity of those moments and maybe reflect on the times that you were part of them that you were either the uh, person receiving the blessing or that you were part of the group that was that was receiving the blessing, um, either giving it to someone else or to maybe under your chuppah or even remembering all the way back to when you became Barabat Mitzvah. And so I hope it's a Shabbat filled with reflection and it is a Shabbat filled with understanding the acceptance of these words of Torah that 
are not so ancient because they live within our lives and they interact within our lives and the most sometimes the most precious moments in our lives. And I hope that it'll it'll be a, sh- a Shabbat that we can uh, really uh, hope for those words uh, for that protection from God and that presence of God and of course that peace that we so much uh, are seeking. Shabbat services are at 6.30 like they always are. They are in the chapel. We have switched to our summer system, if you will. So they're in the chapel tonight, but at 6.30, same time. And tomorrow uh, on Shabbat morning, we switch to our summer hours. Services are at 9 a.m., not at 8.30. Look forward to seeing you soon. And uh, we look forward to collectively putting as much shalom as we possibly can into our Shabbat.